shortages of paper according to students and teachers, shortages of toilet paper for a couple of weeks. We have a construction company that helped fund three school board members, as far as I'm aware of, for $55,000 to get in their positions. In return, $196 million of bond money has gone to Telecu. That's one hell of a profit margin, people. It's called pay to play. We have a parcel tax that Telecu helped get through this uh, district. They helped pay $15,000, according to a, a, a newspaper article I read. Uh, that has actually, it's called Measure CL. It has brought in approximately 10, $11 million a year to the high school and elementary schools. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, parcel, Measure CL is what it's called. Apparently it is illegal uh, if you look at the Forbicus against Alameda Measure H. We have a bond oversight board that, as far as I can tell, is completely un unaccountable. We have a union president that does nothing for their union at all. He does not protect or stand up for anybody there. What else do we got? I have no idea what uh, page 18, McCarthy Building Companies, request to uh, approve addendum number one to lease back agreement between CBUHSD and McCarthy Building Companies, uh, reducing re retention from 10% to 5%. I thought the, uh, the public actually paid for that. And one very beautiful item, most of the people weren't here at five o'clock as they did not know that the meeting started at five, but there was something about the Brown Act, uh, in, in immediate need action cause, number 5494, Pardon me, 54954.2b. Apparently, it's a very small item. It's a short term debt instrument item where the school board is going to start tapping funds and they need to, for some reason, collect $15 million by selling notes. I have no idea what that is or what that is in regards to, but unfortunately, all the people are, have gone home and you guys mentioned that at 5. We thought the meeting was at 545, or most of us did. So those are just a few items. I challenge any other school district in the nation to come up with more issues. And due to time, I do have more issues here. I have been speaking to the district attorney, Seth, and I expect that he will be holding people accountable or we will hold him accountable. Thank you. Good evening. Um, Good evening. So I'm to right here at the, same, at the right moment, you know, sooner than started because I didn't want any public comment. I've been here so long and I understand these people. I have to tell my mom, you know what, go home. I'll find a ride back because she has work to do. I have midterm, but I'm willing to sacrifice that because someone needs to speak up against what's happening to our students. Now, I want you to picture yourself as one of these students in your high schools getting that a college acceptance letter. You feel so accomplished. You have overcome barriers larger than Mount Everest. You have liberated yourself from the shackles of stereotypes that told you you can't do it. You feel you can do anything, and then you get to college. Those feelings begin to dissipate after the first lecture, and you realize you haven't learned any of that in your class. And then, after the first test, your dreams are shattered. Because you know what? Everyone else is like, oh, we learned this in high school. And you have to be there saying, I never even covered this. Think about the teachers you employ. Make sure that when they're teaching, they're teaching the students to be successful. See, I really like the fact that you're thinking of how to change the new curriculum. But you need to make it foolproof. You say, oh, this money is going for the, has been given to us so we can target those underage, um, or those underrepresented minorities. You know? How are you going to implement programs that target that? You also need to take into account that not every single student takes a test as something important. You need to give them incentives. I really, really just want this board to think about where the money is going. I'm lucky. My parents, when it comes to education, 
They told me, Bernadette, you're an investment, so we don't mind spending money on you. What are you investing? Yeah, I'm Andrew with me. I've been here now since, <coughs> since uh, the story hit the airways in February, and I'm still not uh, confident in this sport. I still need, uh, I think it needs all to go. And uh, I'm just seeing the agenda here that uh, there will be $432,851 uh, according to change order number seven, and then there's a change order number 12 for 160000 and then there's 160000 to turn a construction company. Um, I happen to be a uh, estate manager to multi, multi million dollar houses. When I hire a contractor to do a reconstruction of a house, I have the bottom line. I tell the contractor, this is the bottom line. You've got to come back and ask for more. This is it. If you can do it faster in the uh, deadline, I will give you a bonus. If you do it after the deadline, you pay me for being late. I don't know what you're doing. How did you make this contract? Are you standing on your head or sitting on your feet behind? And I also looked into this deed with this house uh, that Fernandez had, and I don't know how many uh, Crocs there are around, but he bought it from a guy that had the last name Croc, and I believe that's you. And he clearly paid, overpaid for that house. So I think you, you guys are in cahoot with each other. You patting each other back and get along. And then you make changes to the meeting, and you have a two hours meeting, this was a great uh, presentation, but that should have been a total different issue on another day, instead of that us sitting here waiting for you having that section meeting, and then we going through that nice presentation, and then coming back, we, you're doing exactly what you want to do, having the people going home. That's what you want, so you can do whatever you want. There's nobody here to keep you a, a response for it. That's how it is. You all sucks. Step up. Because I read body language, people. I've been around this longer than you people have been doing this. You dig busting people like you. And I know you guys got total fear up there and you don't even know what it is, but you're going to find out soon. People, listen to the scam being run on you here. First of all, you, Lady Ramos. Yeah. You earn respect, you don't get it, you don't deserve none. 24 years. I've had the most powerful, richest, heavy duty of people try to bust me never once. Do you know why? I know what I'm talking about, and I got the goods to cook you and this new guy and your whole stupid game. Because get this, people. How about an interest rate spread of 3.47693? Three to one. Let's go to another one. Page one of their handout. 0.63 to 7.54. A 12 to 1 ratio, people! <laughs> Variable! Damn, I wanted this! And it wasn't two hours, it was three and a half hours. The man did his job as he was supposed to. You set him up for this mess to make him take trash from people. You set him up. You are running an illegal meeting. You didn't do 72 hours notice. You don't care. You're the lawbreakers. Who do you think you are? You think you're going to pull that on a guy like me? Smile while we put you in jail. Ruin your reputation. Because anybody had any brains that looked up you, fools. And I was in business for 37 years doing art at the very highest level. My lamps used to go at auction for real Tiffany. I was that good. I guess there's something to that stuff. So you keep the fear up because you better have it. The smartest thing you can all do is get out of town because we're recalling you and organizing these people, and you're finished. I'm going into too much detail on budget 101. I think it's important for everyone to understand a few basic things about budget amendments, budget adjustments. As the year goes on, we have to make adjustments to the adopted budget, and school sites or departments will make transfers between, um, between some categories. So some of the categories are certificated salaries, classified salaries, supplies, services. If the transfer is in within one of those families, for example, if they go from a, a supply which is under $500, which is considered 
a regular supply, or something that's over $500, which is considered a piece of equipment, a non-capitalized piece of equipment, there does not have to be a formal document like you have in front of you. However, when the transfer is between families, so if it goes from supplies to services, or if it goes from certificated salaries to supplies, we have to do this budget adjustment form. It has to go to the county and get approved, and of course, you have to approve it first. So what you see in front of you, for the most part, is are those transfers in between families. In addition to that, <laughs> you are going to see changes related to increases in grants, decreases in grant, increases in local revenue. Uh, you'll see, um, in addition to local revenue, you'll see, as I said, grants, and then you'll see some interfund transfers. On the bond, you'll see a huge, uh, you see a huge adjustment, and that's due to the fact that we just issued bonds. So that's what you're seeing here on budget adjustments. Thank you, and thank, thank you for you, doing sir. the briefing as well, Mr. Hacker. So, prior to the meeting, I appreciate that. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion passes 4 0. Item H, authorized signatures, resolution number 13 14 029. Is your motion? I move. Motion by Ms. Ramos. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Gonzalez. Is there a comment? Yes. Um, I just want to um, note that the authorized signatures are being changed to reflect the omission of, of Mr. Fernandez. That means that only the current um, interim superintendent has the um, authority to, to make decisions. So that's why it's being done at this time of the year when it's not normally done this time of the year. And that was all. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes 4-0. Item I, approval of single school plans for student achievement for Hawthorne, Londo, Luzier, and Lloyd, effective 2013-2014 school year. I move. Moved by Ms. Ramos. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Pisano. With a comment. Yes. One of the things that um, was in our board packet was our um, school site plans. Um, that is about this thick. And I just want to let the sites know, even though they're not here, it is for the record that I did read them. And it was very long reading, but it was extremely tailored to each one of the sites. I haven't seen that kind of individual work in some time. I want to thank you. I do understand what I'm reading. There's still things that you miss about, but as an educator, I get it. The moment that I opened up Hawthorne's, it says, here, here's the ugly, this is where we, we have failed and where we need to go. It's not always pretty, but that's the first thing that they said. They recognized their problem. It was, it was amazing to see and very refreshing. You can tell that there was a collaborative effort. It's no longer, this is gonna be your project, and have two people work in, in you know, solitude working on these single site plans. It was a collaborative effort. Londo High School, the moment that you opened it up, it starts off with their mission statement and who, what they want to do. It's, each site is so very different. It's one thing that some people just don't understand about our district. I mean, each site is very different, and I'm very proud of the work that they've done. Um, I think a lot of it has the leadership, the leadership that they feel comfortable coming out of their shell and doing this. Um, I'm making the comment for as long as I am at this time of night to let you know that, again, I did read it. It was individualized. I'm very proud of it. And thank you again, Dr. Mercerino, for leading them. And each one of those people that were here tonight are amazing mm -hmm. educators that are now part of our administrative staff. And that's the kind of leadership that we do need. Thank you very much.